niggas ain't shit Cause Said that's not cheating if I wasn't with your ass, yo You kept secrets and your cousin told me that, so Logical thinking is just something that you lack, so What you even meant for? Looking like a stick up in your ass, so I'm not your mommy, nigga Find a new hobby, nigga Wait till your walk get picked up Your shit's in the lobby, nigga I'm not gon' kill your car All right, hey, you know, I know this following clip was annoying as hell, okay? I'm annoyed just looking at it. I can't even remember why I downloaded the fucking uh, thing, you know? I can't remember why I downloaded the TikTok clip, okay? I want to apologize for that, but, I, you know, I do have something to say. I want to know who's raising these fucking kids and shit. Yo, regardless of their actual biological gender and shit, what the fuck is wrong with these goddamn kids nowadays? Okay? You know, I often talk about generational misandry and, you know, emotional abuse that runs rampant in our communities, and I stand on that. And I stand on that fucking square and shit, okay? You know, as men, you know, black men, straight black men with no fucking agenda, uh, we are raised to endure uh, high levels of emotional abuse and narcissism and shit and has been normalized and shit for generations and you know this is the result you have like these shitty ass you know these shitty ass little kids you know like that with no fucking life experience and shit on, on social media they shouldn't even have a fucking phone but you you have them on like you know you have a plethora of these these entities online you know acting like assholes you know, doing the most, they don't have any kind of ethnic pride whatsoever and shit. Okay? You know, if somebody's going to tell me that they're, you know, uh, pro-black and shit, the pro-community pro and shit, you got to tell me what you want to do about this situation without sugarcoating in the shit and without getting two motherfucking pillows and then putting it around, you know, the women, you know, who raised these motherfuckers. The first teacher of the child is the goddamn mother. Okay, and look at this fucking girl, this retarded, fucked up little girl who I want to take a belt to. Okay, I want to take a belt. She need a belt on her ass. You know, I'm like, hey, I'm just sit there and watch her do that shit, you know, out of frame. And then uh, confront her and say, hey, you know, you, you really feel that way that niggas ain't shit? You know, you're, you, you, you feel like singing a celebratory song or, you know, mouthing the words to some, you know, Holly Weird operatives, you know, tune. You know, in the house that, you know, I pay for the shit. You know, I pay the mortgage on this bitch. I give you a roof over your head. I finance your belongings and everything that you have, even your goddamn appearance. Okay? You know, you feel like doing that and shit? Well, you're going to, you, you know, you're going to get some uh, domestic discipline and shit in the form of a fucking old-fashioned big black belt and shit. Okay? I, I tell this female, I'm going to say, look, I'll... If you really feel that way, I'm going to make sure that I give you a reason to feel that way legitimately so that you're not a poser. I, I love you so much that I'm willing to do this for you so that you won't be a fucking poser, okay, before I put your ass out on the streets and shit. You're not even going to live with your grandparents and shit. You're not going to live with nobody. You know, if your mama has a problem, then she can take me to the cleaners in divorce court and... You know, we'll call it a day and shit. And don't come fucking see me. I got to, you know, after looking at you doing this, you know, I obviously need to make a baby's mama again. You know? Now, you know, letting my sanity come back in after looking at this fucking clip and this shitty ass girl dancing around. I recall that the last time I felt this way is when I posted that uh, commentary about the girl that was uh, talking about the gay Superman characters and shit in, in the comic book and shit. And, you know, calling her out for not even reading the fucking thing and shit. And, you know, being a fake activist and shit. This is this is what we have today and shit. This is why we're in, in the shitter, okay? You know, critical race theory be damned. Real or not and shit, right? I say it's American history, goddammit. And if you don't want to teach your history to your children and shit, you're co-signing this malfeasant, you know, retardation and shit, okay? 
I don't know what to say and shit, man. I'm looking at this shit. I know I'm in my fucking fifties, man. And I'm just like, okay, okay. Well, whatever happens, I won't be around to see it, right? I keep telling myself that. But then every time I log on to this bitch and look around, I see that it's getting closer and closer to fucking apocalypse. You know, Ragnarok for niggas, you know, for the black community and shit. And then you have people that say that they, they represent and, and all they do is talk down in their voice on, you know, you can't talk too much shit when you're fucking voice you know, behind behind a mic and shit, okay, you're online, okay, you can only do so much, so I keep it 100 with my fucking, you know, with my fucking subscribers, people that happen upon this shit and listen to me, no, I'm talking for real and shit, you know, I'm looking at this shit, I'm seeing this little fucking kid, you know, with a weird, you know, she got a weave and shit, and then later on, it, it looked like it was, like she was balding and shit, but she was still wearing a weave, I didn't know what the fuck I'm looking at, I just kept saying to myself, who raised this motherfucker? Who raised her? Okay? Shit pissed me off. I want to know who the parents are. I want to see if there's a mother and a father. In fact, there is a father. I want to see what kind of man he is to have this shit up on this roof. Ain't no fucking way. You know, in 2024, you need to be vigilant under your own fucking roof. Okay? You need to know who's in there. Okay? You, unfortunately... We have to sleep with one fucking eye open all the time. The only time we don't have to do that is when we ain't got nobody in our fucking home. In our hovel. You know, whatever level of economics that we have. You deserve peace, okay? And if you got wife and kids and shit, you better make sure they're keeping 100 with you. Okay, you gotta enact checks and balances. If you see your fucking kids doing stupid shit like this, then you have to be ready to enact consequences and shit. You cannot take... What the woman says into consideration. You just, you must act. Okay, you must act this shit. I mentioned in the past that I grew up in a, a matriarchal family and shit. And I just thought shit was normal. I thought all that abuse and narcissism was normal shit. You know, I did, I'm fucking pissed. Later on, I figured out, you know, hey, I fell for the okey doke. You know, this ain't no fucking red pill rage. This is history. This is not family history and shit. You know, and I've seen shit like this in my fucking family. Okay? I've seen shit like that. I had to tell one of one of my nieces that she was going to get a, get the business if she didn't get out of my fucking way. And she just had a, like a retarded look. And I just wonder who told her that shit. And then when I asked the female family members, they tried to rug sweep that shit. And then that's when I knew. I was like, hey, I think I'm going to fell for the okie doke. Like, I grew up in that shit. I started with a nuclear family and it became a matriarchal family. And I suffered for that shit. Okay? And I looked at this fucking clip and that reminded me about that time and shit. That, you know, I had a youngster talking to me. You know, acting, acting, you know, brand new. But she wasn't stupid because she got the fuck out of my face. And I just, you know, I realized that, you know, going forward I would be trolling these motherfuckers. I realized they were just staring at me like I was a billboard or something, but they didn't, they didn't see me, okay, they didn't understand that I was sitting there looking at their fucking ass, I'm like sitting there watching you and shit, you got me in a situation where, where, you know, I have to sit here and watch you fuck up, okay, I have to sit here and, and, and just shake my fucking head because you so fucking, you got your head so far up your ass, you didn't know I'm self-aware looking at your ass and shit. And I'm gonna tell you kings out there right now, or whoever the fuck you may be, however, however old you are, suffer no fools if you don't have to and shit. Don't put yourself in that position. That's why we keep telling you to save yourself. Okay, we want you to live your best life. I want you not to be in the fucking matrix. It ain't worth shit. It's a zero sum game that the house always wins and shit. And, and they will put these people over you because of your fucking gender and your melanin content okay they want these people these morons these fucking idiots to lord it over you okay i say i'm a misogynist anarchist but you have to understand what that means right that means this system needs some change okay it needs a hard fucking reset the only way we can do that is by letting that rotten fruit die on the vine and shit, okay? Okay, you ain't gonna bring back no fucking nuclear family with, without like four generations of what I'm suggesting. 
four generations or more shit. Because I'm telling you, I've seen this Generation Z and these Generation Alpha people, they got some issues. And they need to fill in this shit, okay? I don't know what the fuck is going on, but we live in an Orwellian, you know, kangaroo court of a society right now. And in the black community, the carry canary in the coal mine, you see what the fuck is going on. Okay? So she want to dance around and say niggas ain't shit. Now, if she's my fucking kid, she's going to be dancing around outside in her in her birthday suit. Okay? I'm going to give her a garbage bag to wear, and I'm going to take her hair off and everything. I saw my aunt. I saw one of my aunts, my beloved aunt, uh, attempt to do this to her 18-year-old son who wanted to go out to a party and shit, and she didn't want him to go. And then he insisted and told her his age that he was legally an adult. So she asked him to remove all of the clothing from his body, his underwear included, and his shoes and everything. And she lamented the fact that she could not, she could not shave his head before pushing him out the door and shit. And I, being the clueless idiot that I was, a victim, you know, a sin eater for these bitches, you know, I talked her out of doing that. Okay. And I regret that today, but I was uh, supposedly her favorite nephew, and I will honor her legacy more than her own fucking, you know, disappointing offspring. All right? I know this has been a rant, but, I, you know, I keep it a buck with you guys, okay? I keep it a fucking buck. Like, straight up. Straight the fuck up. I've seen this shit. I'm tired of these goddamn kids doing this shit. This ain't old man screaming at the fucking... You know, howling at the moon, you know, because I'm old or some shit. I'm, you know, I'm in my early fucking 50s. I thought it was disrespectful. And, you know, in my fucking, uh, you know, my supposed immediate family, my supposed immediate family and shit, they know not to come around me with this fucker. They know. Okay? They hide. They hide their ass. Their ass from me and shit, okay? Right? What does the fuck does that tell you? Right? I'll tell you what it tells you. I'm the Geek Underground.